Hello ladies, gentlemen, boys and girls. Now I've noticed that a few people out there have been asking if there are any videos available for the toy guns that are available on the market. And I've also noticed that the answer is really a big no, with YouTube only having a couple of models covered and most of them being pretty crappy videos. So I thought I might save the good folks who sell us these things the time and effort and threw some videos together myself. Now before we get started on the first of these, just a serious note here, um, what you will be seeing in these videos is me basically showing the guns as I receive them straight out of the box um, to showcase what they do, um, any other features of note that people might want to notice and just a quick rundown and, and very basic op opinion of what I think of the things. Um, what you won't be seeing is anything illegal at all. Um, so we're not talking about mods to you know, make them more scary or more realistic. You know, none of that stuff. Because at the end of the day, you know, whether you're 6 or 60, doesn't matter who's holding it, these things are toy guns and that's all they'll ever be. Um, you know, if anybody out there wants to complain about that being said, then go get a license, get a real gun and shoot stuff for real. You don't need to make toys into dangerous things. You don't need to ruin it for the rest of us. Um, so that's the, um, the serious stuff being said now. So now let's get started on the first of our videos. So what we have for you today is the Beretta M9, or it's actually um, the M96C um, to be quite accurate. Um, this thing is a Chinese made one and don't even ask me to try and pronounce the name of the brand because um, truth be told I can't read Chinese. Um, so yeah this thing's got a few little features that we'll run down so we'll just switch over quickly to the closer up so that we can have a good look see at what we have here. Right so here we are in a nice ultra close up. Um, just to have a really good look at the detailing on this thing. So um, I'll do a quick um, visual tour of what we have in our hands here and um, then I'll start talking about actual features. Right, so here we are in nice um, close-up detail just to um, have a look at some of the, um, the physical appearance features of this thing first and um, afterwards we'll start working on the, um, on the mechanics and working parts of this thing. So we have um, all the various switches, bits and pieces that you'd expect to see on the real um, Beretta M96, including a little moulded groove there where an accessory would normally be able to slot on, um, like little torches and stuff on the real one. Um, we even have a moulded um, contour there where the, um, the magazine heel normally sits in. So it's fairly nice, fairly nice. Um, got a textured hand grip which actually does feel nice and sturdy in the hands and um, even little sights which have the um, little notch at the back and the post at the front. Now you might notice on my one here it started to separate a bit up the top here. That might be just my one. Um, it might also be a uh, flaw in the design. Either way that's really not that bad. This is actually the worst I've seen it and I reckon that some Tarzan's grip would have that sorted right out. So um, that's our nice close-up shot. There's the other side. Now while we're on this side, I'll just show people quickly where the battery case is. Just pop that cover off, and there's your battery cover, and it's got a little screw in there. That takes two AA batteries, and um, that cover just sort of pops back on, and you'll notice a nice firm click when it sits in and um, once that's in place it won't fall out very easily it actually sits in quite nicely so um, whoops that's not quite in there so um, yep won't come out once we put it in um, so now let's get working on the um, on the moving parts on this thing so first of all naturally we have our trigger but we'll save that for a little bit because that's going to be a little bit special but um, what we also have is this little button down here which is activated by the middle finger when you've got your fin index finger sitting in the um, trigger and what that does is activates a blue light 
which is um, not too bad considering it's a single LED. Um, now if we pull back the slide on this thing, you get um, a cocking sound and um, as you notice that's got a really nice spring action which will come back nice and firm. And now comes the special part, if we were to pull the trigger, get a sound effect and blowback type action. So um, that's not too bad at all. Now the next um, point of note here is um, the build of this thing. The um, the body of this thing, it's about as strong as you'd expect um, those plastic cased um, cap guns to be. It's not the single strongest material I've ever seen toy guns being made out of, but it's certainly not flimsy either. It's um, quite nice. Um, scale is good too. It's a one to one scale um, of the real M96C, which is the compact version of the M96 in case people wanted. So um, that gets good marks there. So overall, I would have to say that this thing would probably get, say, um, 8 bullets out of 10. The um, reason why we're giving it 8 is because um, we have minor mark down, just a minor one. You can't give perfect marks for the construction of the plastic. And another thing that I marked it down for is the actual internal mechanics inside here. Um, I decided to take a bit of a look-see at this thing and um, popped it open. And I've noticed that um, there are two things about this. Um, Number one, there's a laser that's been disabled. That's probably a legal thing in Australia, so, um, yeah, like, the, the whole thing's removed, but there's definitely imprinting on circuit boards saying that there's supposed to be a laser diode in there. That's not really the major thing I've marked it down for. It's just a minor disappointment, but to be expected in this country. Um, the one thing that was a little bit disappointing to see was that there's literally two elastic bands holding um, that spring mechanism together, which means that those will probably wear out and break faster than a real spring would. The good news is that that's nice and easy to fix up. Um, there's literally three or four screws in the way between you and the inside of that slide, and you can have that sorted right out. So the total verdict is 8 out of 10 definitely have to say um, if you, you want to play around with the cosplay type thing, a scene and um, you know, or you like little fun little toy pistols and stuff like that this is definitely the way to go and they go really cheap too so um, definitely can't complain about that so that's the um, the Beretta M96C or M9 as it's often sold as um, nice and covered for us and I hope that people found that video informative and useful. Um, stay tuned on this channel because later on we will be putting up a few more little videos of some of the other bits and pieces that I own.